everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're watching me, Nails by Magenta. So today is a Q&A session and it is about um, finding out a little bit about me in this industry and what I like and don't like and so on and so forth. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on social media. So um, nails by dot magenta on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, so we're gonna get started and we're gonna start with um, question number one, which is how long have you been doing nails? So for me, I have now been doing nails for about 10 years. Um, I feel like I say 10 years every year. <laughs> I'm sure it is about 10 years. Question number two is, where did you learn to do nails? Okay, so for me, I would say, obviously I did my level two, my level three, um, and then I did additional courses as well. So things like gel polish and acrylic and whatever else along the way. Um, for me, I would say the most I actually learn was being hands-on and being in an apprenticeship. So for me, I was a student and learning at the same time. Um, so I had a little job in a salon in South and Ferris where I actually learned a lot about what I know um, from that job itself, purely because it was hands-on and I was dealing with clients and um, complaints and things like that. And I definitely think you'll never get anywhere without having hands-on experience because there's only so much that you can read from a textbook and practice on a fake doll or a family member. But for me, hands-on is definitely the best. Um, question number three, what do you love most about the industry? Um, okay, so... Oh, well, I love I love my job for a start. Um, Industry-wise, I believe that this industry is so fun, but it also can be quite diverse as well. So for me, I love meeting new techs and learning new things. The fact that you can constantly learn, for me, is a bonus because I just think... There's not many jobs that you can go and there will always be new products evolving and new methods to things. And I think it's good to keep your brain at a good place that you can carry on and continue to learn all the time. So for me, that's why I love this industry. I love the the fun, the support, the, the everything about it, really. Just just love my job. Um, question number four. Do you offer any other treatments? Yes, I do. So I do um, nails and toes, obviously. I do pedicures as well. Um, I, If you've watched my salon tour, um, you would have seen I've got a bed. So I do lash lifts, a little bit of facial waxing. So I do uh, like eyebrow, lip and chin, that kind of thing. Nothing too much. Um, but yeah, that's, a, that's pretty much all I do now. I am qualified in everything pretty much. Um, but I don't. I'm, I'm a nails girl and that's the be all and end all of it like I love doing nails toes everything else is kind of just a bonus really um so yeah that's that's pretty much all I do now uh question five tell us about your workspace okay so again um if you've watched my previous video then you would have seen my workspace I've got like a little cabin which is in the garden which I absolutely love. So I've only been in here since January. Um, I was actually made redundant on Christmas Eve. So that's how this all come about really um, from the previous salon that I was at. Um, I'm really, really lucky in the fact that my family and my husband's family are very, 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 very supportive. And I am lucky enough that they're kind of, back me 100% of the way and yeah I'm just yeah very very lucky um question number six how long is a gel appointment for 
and also with nail art. Uh, okay, so normally a gel appointment with me is 45 minutes. Um, don't get me wrong, I could probably smash it out in about 20 minutes if I wanted to. But I like to spend my time a little bit more on prep. Um, because I do believe that prep is key. So for me, uh, 45 minutes for a, a gel polish, a standard gel polish. If we're looking at adding nail art, then we're looking at another 15 minutes. But it really varies because if you're telling me you want a couple of flowers on a finger, that's fine. If you're telling me you want intricate painted designs on every single fingernail, then we're talking a little bit more than 15 minutes. So, um... Yeah, I kind of, yeah, between 45 to an hour for gel appointments with me. Uh, question number seven. What is your best tip to share with fellow techs? Okay, so if you're an our tech and you are watching this, my tip for you would be to be kind and be yourself as well. I mean... There's a lot of techs out there that tend to try so hard to become something that they're not. And I just feel like you are who you are, okay? Like, your clients love you for you. So, just go for it. Absolutely just go for it. Um, and the other thing I would say is never give up as well, okay? Because there's been millions of times where I thought, you know what, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to put myself through the stress and the tears and the pain. <laughs> but never give up because at the same time, it is the most rewarding job ever. I love making someone's day purely because they've sat here with me. They've moaned about their husband. They've cried about a family member or a friend. And they've confided in me and sat and sometimes listen to me moan because if you're a client of mine you know I moan a lot <laughs> about all sorts of things so for me it's kind of just the rewarding side of it that I love because I just think you will always be special to somebody so never ever give up oh it's getting all a bit emotional um Okay, so question number eight. Choose one thing you couldn't live without. Oh, that would it, that's easy. That's my e-file. So at the moment, I'm currently using the SayNK35. Um, I've got the rose gold one, and I absolutely love it. I've used the gel bottle one before. wasn't so keen. I found that that like lagged a bit, and it wasn't that great. But I absolutely love the SayNK35. That is my number one. Question number nine. Um, so this is acrylic or gel? Oh, oh, okay. So this for me is a difficult one. And I'm just going to say both because I love working with both. I don't dread either. I use poly gel as well. And I actually quite enjoy poly gel. So acrylic and gel, I'm saying both, I'm afraid. Natural nails or extensions? Extensions, 100%. Um, purely because, and you're going to think I'm crazy for saying this. If someone says to me, I've got this idea in mind, I really want to have this design, but they've got the tiniest nails, it's never going to happen. So the reason I like extensions is purely for the fact that you've got more surface areas to play with. Don't get me wrong, I love just a simple gel polish on natural nails. Um, I love sometimes just even a nice little cute manicure. I've got a couple of elderly ladies that I do, and I do still do them just a standard plain manicure. Um, and yeah, I quite enjoy doing that as well, to be fair. Uh, okay, so number 11, what will your next work purchase be? Oh, okay, so at the moment, I currently record on my phone. Um, and now that I'm doing more video content as such, I am looking into a new snazzy camera. But I've got to save some more money first. 
So yeah, that will probably be my next work related purchase. Um, I should imagine. Uh, question 12, what is your business prediction for 2025? Um, this is a tricky one. So I would probably say to just still be happy and still be enjoying what I do and yeah, like not getting up in the morning and thinking, oh, I've got work today. Like I... I never want to be in that position where I dislike going to work. Like, I like going to work. Like, people think I'm crazy when they say, oh, do you like your job? And I'm like, yeah, I love it. People genuinely think that I am mad because I love my job. <laughs> but I do. I love it and I can't help it. So, yeah. 13. Okay, so these are some extra questions that people have asked. Um, my favourite colour. Oh. Okay, I'll give you two. I'll give you a gel polish colour and also an acrylic colour. Gel polish, I am going to say, is Cosmos from the gel bottle. It's what I call my bridesmaid colour because all my bridesmaids wore this colour like for their dresses. And I just love the colour. It's like a dusky pink. I guess kind of a bit like these kind of pinks up here. So it's like, a, uh, yeah, like a dusky pink, dusky rose pink. So that would be my favorite gel. In acrylic, um, oh, that's a hard one as well. Um, okay, acrylic color, it would be, um, lilac luster. Okay, there you go, Lilac Luster. Um, stunning colour from CJP. It's lilac, obviously. Um, and it's got a little bit of a sparkle to it too. And it goes beautiful with like a coconut milk marble. Or, To be honest, I haven't put it with anything yet that I haven't liked. So for me, Lilac Luster, 100%. Uh, do you have plans in place to reopen? If so, and what measures will you take? Okay, so for me, um, obviously I have started making plans and implicating them. Currently, we're still in a situation where the British Beauty Council haven't given us full information yet because they don't know themselves. So they've put guidelines on. Um, by which is things like making sure your clients are sanitising when they come in, making sure that your workspace and your tools are all cleaned in between. To be honest, a lot of it is things that, for me, I do anyway. So, sanitising tools. I mean, if you're not sanitising your tools already, then, ugh. I mean, really? Like, that's pretty gross. Um there obviously will be things that will change so it will only be one client in here at a time um you won't be permitted to bring children or friends or your boyfriend or whatever it will literally purely just be you alone um there will be a case of whilst we are still in this situation clients will be required to wear a face mask i wear a face mask and i wear gloves anyway um and it would just be more sort of like hand washing. The other thing that will change is drinks. I know my clients love a good cup of tea or cappuccino when they come. So actually, from when we return to work, it will be that you will drink your drinks from a disposable cup. Purely because I know it's not the best thing for the environment. And I am trying to my absolute hardest to get recyclable or recycled paper cups so yeah i think they are the kind of it's lots and lots and lots that's going into it but it's all kind of i guess general knowledge like just things that you should be really doing anyway but there will be like we'll step it up so there'll be a little bit more cleaning going on in between clients um and actually, another thing that's going to change is during lockdown, whilst I am managing the 
appointments slightly differently to avoid overlapping, clients running late, blah, blah, blah. Normally, I'd just say, right, that's fine. Come in, take a seat, won't be long. To avoid all of that and people booking themselves in, I'm actually going to go back to a traditional old boring pen and paper uh, diary just purely because I can kind of monitor the gaps and spaces in between clients and kind of really get that more suitable so that I haven't got to think, oh, well, if someone books there, with the online booking, I don't have so much control over it. Um, so for the time being, I will eventually go back to the online booking system, but for the time being, it will just be a little bit more, you kind of have to gonna speak to me. <laughs> so you're gonna have to speak to me, you're gonna have to book in with me, you're gonna have to write it in your diary and I'm gonna write it in my diary and that's just how it's gonna be. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I think to avoid making this video a million times too long, I'm going to pretty much leave it there. Um, feel free to pop any questions that you might have down below in the comments. And I will get back to everybody. And yeah, I will see you all soon. Stay safe and try and enjoy lockdown pretty much as much as you can. And I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.